All right, this is a uh, little 411 on your uh, fire ants. And uh, by the way, this is a uh, pair of skivvies. <clears throat> Underwear, briefs, whatever you want to call them. Later on, I'm going to be uh, showing you that uh, composting worms can compost clothes. But uh, before I get into that, which would be another thing, I just want to show you that, um, especially some of you guys that live in the southeast, if you always try to figure out if you uh, get weird holes in your clothes, I just want to show you what fire ants can do. And uh, of course your underwear, a lot of your underwear are 100% uh, cotton, which of course the uh, band up here isn't. But uh, this is actually a brand new pair of underwear. But I'll show you, uh, if you got them in like a laundry room, you get fire ants in them. Fire ants will actually eat this stuff. You look all over. If you guys always got holes in your clothes, you think it's moths, it's actually fire ants. If you look at this, they uh, got in there and they ate holes all in this. So if you got a laundry room, you got fire ants, you're probably going to lose some of your clothes. And... Uh, you look even where this elastic is, they done chewed into it there. Fire ants got some pretty powerful jaws. And, uh, of course, your underwear, you could even, you know, you don't think about it, but you could have dead skin or whatever in here. And just because you don't know what it is or you think you got clean underwear, you probably don't. So, uh, anyway, your fire ants will try to make homes out of stuff like this. It is organic, so, you know. Fire ants didn't live this long being stupid. But anyway, that's a little bit 411 for you. And that's it for now.